<clears throat> hey guys, what is up? First off, I wanted to say thanks for all the kind support and humbled to reach 10,000 subscribers. Um, making these videos takes me quite a bit of effort, so getting that kind of support really means the world to me and helps fuel me to do uh, more of them in the future. Um, in today's video, I am going to continue with the Lasso Fill Tool and do a real-time demo, this time with reference. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, I hope you consider subscribing and I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you find this at all helpful. Um, you can find my social media links as well as uh, my Big Cartel Store link and the, the link to the image that I'm using in the video uh, down in the description below. Um, with that said, let's get started. So I'm just gonna dive right in. And then once I get to a good spot, I'll start kind of talking about what I've got going on. All right, so as I finish that up, again, I just bang out the dummy. So I, I'll go ahead from this point, um, start looking at um, things that I felt that I could have worked on as I was going through it. So just the analyzing, right? So um, especially like when you're doing it with the with the mannequin, you know, I, I know for me it loses a little bit of that. Uh, it gets more stiff, right? And so, and so this is the point where it's like once you start building the mannequin, what kind of things can you keep in mind, or what kind of things that I try to keep in mind? So, like I look in here, and um, you know, first right off the bat, I'm like, you know, she's got quite the, uh, she's got quite the um, big movement here, right? 
So most of the times with poses like this, I probably would have been more gestural, but I wanted to show how I tackle it with the lasso tool. And then, like I said, things that I take in consideration and I look for inside of, of the um, pose itself. So we'll start with at the head, right? You know, things that I'll, I'll, I'll focus on angles, I'll focus on um, way things twist, right? And things where I'm like, oh, I would have pushed that a little bit further, um, you know, bent that up a little bit more. All right, so I could come in here and exaggerate this part a little bit more. Get her, you know, more so with that angle, you know, so you can feel it. Because again, again, working with shapes and stuff like that, you know, and with this way, you know, you can just go ahead and grab it, cut it up, and then push it where, where you need it to be pushed. The other thing that I, I kind of look for, right, is twists, right? Twists and, and things of, of such nature, right? So the way her body is twisting to get that arm around, right? so her, body's, oops, her body's twisting this way, right? You have this middle line, but that middle line drives in the back because this part is going behind. She's pulling that thing back. You want to be able to feel that. Let me see this arm. That arm. So then, like with this, I can think of it like a puppet, right? That's the animator part of me, all you know. When you start talking overlaps, you're like, this part is going to overlap. You're going to get that fold over. All right. So same thing. You get into like her foot, right? It's not just flat. There's like a bit of rotation on it, right? And her foot is rolling a little bit this way and this foot is rolling more this way like keeping those things in mind so as i'm analyzing that you know then i would probably take some time to redraw the figure you know so i'm taking a little bit of time to uh redraw this figure twice more um this one I start off with the gesture rather than the lasso fill tool. Um, again, you know, when you're looking at poses and analyzing, you know, one of the hardest parts is um, figuring out how you want to start it, right? So I just wanted to show other variations of that starting. You know, I try to get more gestural with this one in the beginning and then I just draw right over it. The benefits to redrawing an image um, the first time, you don't really know the image as well. You, you know, there's some analyzing you do, but um, I know early on I would be afraid to redraw uh, uh, you know, images because it was like, well, you know, I'm done with it, uh, move on. But a lot of the times there's so much stuff you can um, learn by redrawing an image, you know, because you're, you, you've already laid down a, a foundation and destination. So sometimes redrawing something can help you see things that you wouldn't have seen before. Um, and why I stick to a lot of the same type of uh, subjects for a long time is because um, the more you're observant of that thing, uh, the more you realize how little you knew of it uh, the first go. So I wanted to be able to um, redraw it and um, 
a couple of times just so you can see that process. And again, it was great for me. And this is what I would do um, early on was redraw, redraw. Um, I don't do it as much now, um, but you know, there's quite a bit of value that you're gonna get from redrawing images and poses. Um, just to solid that up and then and then I like to take notes as to um, things that I saw a little bit differently so this time I'm just drawing over the top of that you know to solid up those shapes in my head you know I could have done this with the lasso tool sometimes with the lines it, it, it helps um, me to you know get into that drawing mindset so I go back and forth from shape to line, from shape to line. The benefits of doing lasso fill tool is, you know, I look at it as kind of a mix of painter and a mix of sculptor, right? Um, I like to, like the painter part of it is, is, you know, painters will block things in really big. And so that's why I ended up using the lasso tool the way I did is because, you know, that painter mindset of me was like, man, I, I like grabbing bigger shapes really quick and the lasso tool helps with that but also um, like I said the painter mind I mean the the modeler mindset where you have um, you know that you're like taking a, a lump of, of clay and then adding or taking away from it so there's two benefits of it so um, drawing a pose over again you know you have the ability to um, now take that information and then uh, mold it to your way. So this this last demo is just kind of messing with the proportions a little bit and um, you know pushing them a little bit um, in more of a cartoony style. So that's where this this part is coming from. But I, I just wanted to be able to show you off of reference um, how I use the lasso tool and then move from um, my thinking, change my thinking from one one way to another because it's all beneficial to me you know there's there's always more ways to do something and um, I just figured I'd share that process um, give you a little bit more insight to that lasso tool lasso to tool fill process that I used in the previous video again um, this is not um, really to teach but just to show you um, things that are in my head why do certain things you know like the color I had a lot of people asking about you know um, you know am I switching tones and this is not like um, a color thing this is just more uh, it's easy to just separate it out so like where that uh, you know light to dark and I'm transitioning and one is over the other it's just easier for me to see it and then I would take these things and then draw over them just you know the form is all there now I could could lay the lines on top of it and, and flesh it out and refine it and clean it up and you know and it's just just, just another um, another way of looking at a workflow I, I changed her uh, head position here just you know to have her looking more like she's gonna spike it down uh, again choices that I could make um, once I've already gotten all the information there's things that I could I could change up and make it my own you know and this is that's just the tip of the iceberg of where I could have done it but just that instance right there where again the direction just the direction she was looking was something I could change I changed like the thickness of the legs and stuff like that and the size of her head and you know this is you know to me um, when you're learning that part of uh, where to make your choices you know it's it's gonna change and so trying it multiple times you know you'll be able to register places where you would change things up or where you could uh, input your own 
um, choices on purpose, you know, and so that's building that confidence just to make choices and feel comfortable with those choices. So with that said, you know, um, these were really fun to do. Um, I don't know how insightful they were, but I, I hope somebody out there uh, appreciated it. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you at the next time. Uh, keep on keeping on.